Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we have a pretty expensive box right here. I've never opened this set before. It's 2004 Donruss Timelines. Inside there's just four packs with five cards each. Now each pack will have, looks like an autograph and a relic. It says here on the front of the box, Look for randomly inserted four autos and four game used cards. You can see Don Mattingly is on the front of the box. These packs back in 2004 when they first came out, they were $50 a piece. So that's pretty darn expensive for 2004. This is one of the higher releases back then or higher end releases. And we do have a sponsor for this video. So let's go ahead and bring him in. It's Giovanni. So Giovanni, thank you very much. Let's hope we can find some good stuff in here. I hope everyone's having a very pleasant Thursday. Before we get this open, I'd like to remind you, you can check us out in our auctions tonight. We'll be having uh, regularly scheduled auctions with some members only time at the end. If you'd like to become a channel member, you'll get a free pack of cards uh, during the members only time with everything that you win. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, by the way, I, there we go. Might need to get a new blade in my, on this uh, box cutter, but I picked this box up Last weekend at the Monroeville Baseball Card Show, I paid, I think it was 400 some dollars for it. But there's only one of these boxes out there currently on eBay. I think it's 450 which after tax, you're going to pay $500 for the box. So we're hoping we can find some big time stuff. So here's the checklist. They give you, with only 50 cards in the base set, they're going to give us the entire checklist. So Go ahead and show you that real quick. So it has the base checklist right there. You can take a look at the names. Looks like they're alphabetized by first name. And then we have some of the autographs here as well. As you can see, some Hall of Famers in there and so on. But let's just go ahead and get ripping this. Man, there's a whole bunch of different possibilities. See a Babe Ruth Call of the Hall Relic. Wouldn't that be nice to pull a Babe Ruth Game use jersey. That's one that I've never pulled before. Love to pull a Babe Ruth jersey. The pack feels thick. So let's see. So the pack has Don Mattingly, five cards. Get an autograph card and a game use memorabilia card in each pack. These are nice. So this is high end for 2004. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that rings a bell. It kind of reminds me of the. Uh, 2022 tops pristine when it was a pack within a pack within a pack so it feels like we have some slab cards in there what do we got first here's the base pack i believe i think i don't know this is the first time i've i've never seen this open first time i've obviously ever opened this pack so kind of uh figuring things out as we go for giovanni and there's another what another pack within the pack What's going on? This is just like 2023 Pristine. All right, so looks like we have the, the relic here on the back, and it is going to be a Call of the Hall Bobby Door game use bat as our first hit, 2004 Donruss Timelines. It is uh, very, very reminiscent of the Pristine, which came out oh, last summer, at the end of last summer. Let's check. This is probably the base pack. I'm assuming this is going to have five base cards in here. Let's take a look at the design. We've got Chipper Jones as the first card, and we've got his teammate Andrew Jones. Actually, it's three cards because of the relic and autograph both count as one in the five-card pack. How about that? We've got the Braves pack right here, and uh, could all be Hall of Famers one day. Maddox is in. Jones is in. Andrew Jones is not in, but he's been garnering some support year after year in the Hall of Fame voting. So, that's done. Now, this is going to be the uh, the big draw in this pack. This is the auto pack. Let's hope it's a nice name. I thought I was only opening four packs. I guess not. All right, here we go. It is going to be a Terry Steinbach. Is that like a freaking 94 Donruss card? Oh, and it's a screw down case as well. It's not, it, I was saying one touch, but, uh, or slab, it's in a screw down case. Terry Steinbach, uh, that's a 96 Donruss card. I don't know my Donruss designs all that well. Not like tops, that's for sure. So, all right, that's a big disappointment for a pack. Let's see if we can find something in this next one. Hopefully, it's going to be a big hit. 0 for 1. But we have more to come. Man, that's just a 
freaking buyback card. I was expecting a little more from this. Are they all going to be just old Donruss cards that are signed? We'll see. Here's the next one. The Relic, it's going to be a... Looks like it's going to be Will Clark. Will the Thrill Clark, Boys of Summer. You get two pieces of his memorabilia on there. Jersey and Bat. Nice card right there. It's numbered also out of 100. So Will Clark is the next one to go with the Bobby Door. And let's check out our three-card pack. Kind of reminds me a little bit of three and two. You get three base cards and you get two hits. Almost exactly like that. We've got Roger Clemens leading things off. And there's a Dave Parker. This card looks a little snazzy. This may be numbered on the back. You can see kind of like um, some sort of color scheme going on with it. It is going to be out of 100. So it is numbered. And Scott Rowland. So Hall of Famer Scott Rowland in there. Let's check the autograph, please. Let's not have like a 91 Donruss Derek Bell or something like that. This next one, it's going to be, it's a Hall of Famer. We have a Hall of Fame autograph coming out of here. It is going to be Jack Morris. Nice. So Jack Morris, Boys of Summer card, and that is not a buyback. It looks like it's the original 04 Timelines design with the Jack Morris autograph right there. Hall of Famer Jack Morris. There's the back of the card. All right, so Terry Steinbach, not a big draw. Jack Morris, pretty good. Let's check this next one. I'm hoping for even a bigger name than Jack Morris. Value-wise, Giovanni, here's this next one up. Check the Relic Pack out first. On the back, the Relic, it's going to be Hideo Nomo. So... I don't know how these cards are like sticking to it as well like are they putting glue on the back of these it almost seems like it but not really you can probably hear that come apart maybe it's just sticking to the wrapper you know how cards will stick together they've been in a pack for years Hideo Nomo game used jersey card right there of the what he went 95 rookie of the year I always liked watching Nomo lots of Nomo mania I remember having his 95 Bowman rookie card I love that card that was one of my favorite cards back in 95 here's the base pack we've got Roy Holiday first then we've got a Vlad Guerrero senior it's numbered to 100 and last but not least Nomar Nomar Garcia Parra and now it's autograph time all right, this looks like it might be an 84 Donruss. You see that back? Wouldn't that be nice if it was a big-time Hall of Famer? 84 Donruss card, or maybe it's an 82. It is going to be an 83, actually. We were in the ballpark <laughs> right in between. That's an 84 Donruss. It's Vita Blue, so or 83 Donruss. That's a pretty nice card right there. Vita Blue just passed away a couple weeks ago, and uh, so pretty sweet card right there, Vita Blue. There's the back of the card. So that's a bit better of a buyback card than the Terry Steinbach. And we're down now to our last pack. So here we go. Let's see what we can find here. I'm also planning on opening some Heritage Blaster Boxes, doing a little retail video for you, either today if I get them in or, or Friday. Also likely to do a face-off Friday with some Heritage. Maybe get out there to Walmart and see if I can find any Heritage on the shelves. Heritage is always so fun to open. The first week or two. It goes for any new release. We have Top Series 2 coming down the pike here in about less than two weeks now, I guess, huh? All right, here we go with the next one. The Relic, it's going to be George Brett. Very nice. Hall of Famer, game use bat of George Brett. Call to the Hall, 04 Timelines. George Brett is the next one up. We'll do our three-card pack. Let's hope we have a nice final autograph. Ichiro is one of the base cards. We've got Manny Ramirez in there as well. There's Barry Zito, and there's that Ichiro. Here we go, last pack. Is it going to be a buyback, or is it going to be an 04 Timelines card? It's going to be a buyback card right there. This is going to be an 85, it looks like. Oh, man, I hope it's a Kirby Puckett autograph. going to be Tommy John. Tommy John, and you can see that it says Recollection Collection on these cards. So three buyback cards in this box where they recollect some of their older cards, get them signed, and put them back in there that's also stamped. has a little watermark right there on all of these. So you know that uh, Don Russ 
officially put this out. This one's numbered as well on the back out of 25. Uh, the Vita Blue, if you're wondering, was numbered out of 26. And the Terry Steinbach, in case you're curious, was numbered out of just five. So five of five. So all the buyback cards are numbered. It's probably the best card. Jack Morris, Vita Blue. A little disappointed we didn't get a bigger name in there, but that's the way it goes. At least no expired redemption. So Giovanni, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. I'll see you later tonight in the auctions. And if not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.